promoting maternal and child health nutrition is the only way to secure the future of any nation. And this is why stakeholders, including legislators from both the national and state assemblies, are brainstorming on nutrition, believing its importance in the formative stage of a baby. Declaring the conference open, the speaker through his representative promised to use recommendations from the stakeholders and legislators to amend obsolete laws to address national challenges associated with maternal and child health challenges in the country. And this was supported by the chairman of the committee in his welcome address. There must be appropriation to ensure that there is fiscal backing to actualize the provision and status so made. We must be committed to the Burkina Faso 2017 declaration, engaging all stakeholders in sectors as well as our concerns in proper nutrition advocacy in our, ch in our children, especially the exclusive breastfeeding of babies for six months and promoting the delivery and effective appropriation nutrition intervention in Nigeria. As a follow-up to the commitments and to deepen the implementation of the resolutions made at the seminar, the House Committee on Healthcare Services partnered with UNICEF Nigeria and other development partners with the aim to enhance the understanding of parliamentarians on issues related to malnutrition, stunting, and, the, and the, the effects they have on their states and our nation. More importantly, it is expected that by the end of the two-day conference, that is today and tomorrow, Parliamentarians will select actions they will take forward with partners to advance the nutrition security agenda in their respective states and then at the federal level in order to help reduce malnutrition rates in Nigeria. Stakeholders pointed out challenges of malnutrition and the need to address it in the country. However, as we all know, it's sadly not enough. There are still 2 million children a year who aren't treated. These are two million children who are nine times, nine times more likely to die than properly nourished children. Malnutrition occurs not just because of the lack of food, but as a result of poor feeding practices of caregivers, of caregivers. If caregivers know how to feed their children using available food, if we can provide micronutrients for our children, if we provide adequate complementary food for them, and if we treat those who are acutely malnourished, we can reduce considerably the effects of malnutrition on women and children. Nigeria's nutritional crisis that was hosted by the Senate Committee on Health in December 2016 and the increased fund allocation for nutrition in this year of 2017 clearly show an unwavering commitment to change the, the current status quo. But today, Nigeria remains the second largest contributor to under five child mortality. We recognize that the battle against malnutrition cannot be fought and won by one ministry or organization or household or one person alone. We also recognize that malnutrition is a complex phenomenon with a large theory of change. Entrenched in this problem are cultural and societal norms and misconceptions economic barriers, gender barriers, food insecurity, and policy issues. This is why we wholeheartedly collaborate with all stakeholders to ensure effective multi-sectorial coordination of efforts. The two days conference will look critically at health implications of neglecting the nutrition of mothers, especially before and during pregnancy to the delivery stage, bearing in mind that the quality of a nation depends on the quality of the nutritional value intake. As it is commonly said, Health of a nation is the wealth of that nation. Emmanuel Higine, PTV News.